go! A picture-perfect fall day at the No Cayman on South Trails was all that was needed on Saturday. Over 70 riders entered into the Marquette Fall Classic and spent over 12 hours at the trails. A heavy rain on Friday helped the riders and created the perfect riding conditions. Yeah, conditions were pretty ideal today. It had rained recently, but not today, and it dried up enough where grip was great and it could go as fast as, as fast as you could try to go. Unlike a normal bike race, riders were not racing against each other. Rather, they were racing against the clock. Woo, get it! Yeah! So the competition, or lack thereof, provided for a fun, relaxing day. It's kind of like a big day of bike riding, but the only time part is when you're coming down. Which we like because that's the fun part anyway. I describe enduro as a good combination of competition and socializing because there are brief moments of the clock ticking, but the rest of the time you're able to be somewhat relaxed and hang out and chat with people and have a good time. The last race in the Lake Superior Gravity Series played host to people from all over the Midwest who are willing to travel from other states just to participate. I live in, in Duluth and I've been hearing a lot about Marquette and the trails here and finally made a point of getting over here and off to come back. There was even a night stage, a fun and thrilling end to a perfect fall day on the mountain. At the top of the podium stood Abby Strigel and Brad Jelanen, winners in their respective divisions. In Marquette, I'm Kellen Buddy, reporting for ABC 10 and the CW5.